Hello, my name is Joe Marzullo, and I'm going to discuss with you how I test for vertical knock travel. It's important when you do a test that you have to measure something. You have to measure its speed, you have to measure its weight, you have to measure something. In this case, it'll be the deviation of the knock travel as it's drawn with regard to a line drawn perpendicular to the bowstring. So I'm going to show you some drawings that I've made, and the drawings are actually from this CAD layout I have right here, but it'd be kind of hard to talk to that, so we're going to talk to the individual drawings. Okay, here's uh, two drawings of a bow. This is the bow uh, shown at brace height, and this is our reference line, and that reference line is 90 degrees to the bowstring when at brace height. So we'll call that the datum reference line. It's a point that we're going to measure uh, knock travel from. Now here is the same bow uh, shown with everything 90 degrees. You drew the bow back and there's no deviation whatsoever. The, the uh, knock came straight back. It's 90 degrees to the reference point and everything's perfect. Unfortunately, that's not the way the world works and uh, <laughs> very few things in life are perfect and certainly not vertical knock travel. So here is the same bow, again, drawn closer to reality. In this case, it's a, it's a bow that has about a, an eight-tenths of an inch rise at full draw. And here you can see, here's that eight-tenths of an inch rise with regard to the data reference line. So you can also see the arrow direction at launch is pointing down. And so in order to hit the target, you've got to point the arrow launch in the direction that you want to hit, which is the second drawing, more like this. So here's the arrow direction launch, nice and straight now towards the target. But in so doing, the whole bow has to be rocked down a little bit in your hand. And I just made an illustration here, a reference of 88 degrees, something other than 90 degrees. So in the case of a bow who has uh, some knock travel that rises, the bow is always going to rock away from your hand, say away from your hand at full draw. So that's one of the effects of uh, knock travel that's not perfectly perpendicular or level and straight uh, as we call it. Now one of the other things uh, knock travel can do that's not shown here, knock travel cannot be necessarily straight. It could be uh, some amount of wobble like this in its flight. And you can also have a condition at the end of the draw where you'll see a little hook either up or down indicating that the cams are not in sync with each other. So they, they arrive at their point differently from each other. They're not the same. So those are some of the things that uh, knock travel can create. Okay, now we have uh, we've discussed the uh, testing strategy and, and the reason why we're testing certain things the way we do. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is go back, go down to my shop <clears throat> and look at a piece of equipment I designed back in 2007. Uh, to uh, measure knock travel on a vertical basis. Uh, this piece of equipment very accurately tracks what the knock does as it's being dynamically drawn. And uh, you'll see some bows will do very well and some bows rise quite a lot and I've tested some of them where there's uh, their, their travel is not straight but has quite a bit of bobble in it. It looks like a, a mogul on a, on a ski jump or something so that's not a good situation but none of these things can you see just by shooting the bow but you can see them by testing so let's go take a look at what that looks like okay here we are uh, down at the piece of equipment I designed uh, to uh, test vertical knock travel here's how it works the bow is located <clears throat> in the in the fixture against a the point on the grip is the lowest point in the grip and the frame is secured at two points here and there to prevent it from rocking and uh, producing errors in our test results the uh, boat, boat is drawn by virtue of this trolley 
uh, and a cable that goes all the way to the end. You can see it right here, down through the bottom into a, a, a worm gear drive uh, winch, which gives it a very smooth draw. When it's drawn, a uh, pen is put in this plotter right here, and it comes down and touches a piece of paper, and wherever it goes is where the knot goes. So if it goes up and down, however it goes, you'll see that, and it's in the uh, plot. So once we've got that done, we've gone from uh, brace height to full draw. We'll see what the knock travel does. And we have to see what it does with regard to a uh, reference line. That reference line is a line drawn that's perpendicular to the bowstring at brace height. And to do that, do that, it uses this piece of equipment I designed here, which is a, a, a very precision square, and it locates again the bowstring here and here, so I can draw a line that's perpendicular to the bowstring. And then we measure actual knock travel with regard to that reference line. So the knock travel can be a couple of things. It can be straight uh, and also in line with this perpendicular line, or it can be straight and be up or down, right? Depending on if it rises or falls. As well as that, it cannot be straight. It can rise and have uh, a number of up and downs travel to it. That wouldn't be good because that uh, that motion is transferred to the arrow when you shoot the bow, and it'll be harder to get good flight out of that arrow. So that's the uh, that's how the test works. I hope that explains how this works, and uh, you'll find it interesting.